So, it's the final home game of the season. Swansea City at home. It's obviously Steve Cooper's former side. Um, we know the score really with Forest. Absolutely huge, huge win away at Fulham. Obviously, the team that pretty much won the title already. And basically, if we win all three of our remaining games today, and then we've got Bournemouth and Hull away, we basically go up automatically, which it doesn't doesn't sound right saying, does it? Um, not that they're going to complain, it's what we all want, but it really is just such an unrealistic thing that we're used to being able to say. We're not used to saying that. Um, I think we can do it, I really do, but cross fingers. If we don't do it, we've got the playoffs. The only downside of that is it's just the most stressful thing ever. Not that I've experienced it as a Forest fan, but uh, yeah, today, it's going to be tough, Swansea haven't lost in nine, but I'm going to go 2-1 Forest, um, maybe 3-1, I don't know, but I think we will win. We always find a way. I know we've got injuries today, but I'm hoping it's not as bad as what we've made out, because it, it never tends to be the case normally. So, uh, yeah, up the Reds. So, Dad, yes. what do you think of today? Today is a very important day. I know we've got a playoff place, but I want us to desperately finish second. I'm predicting a 3-1 victory for Forest. Nice. Oh, what about this for a chant? You'll never beat McKenna. You'll never beat McKenna. Your dad, we do that already. Oh, do we? Yeah. Okay, right, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway, for our Welsh viewers, I'd just like to say Shemai Kroiso Abatawi. All right. Yeah. Well, I said 3 1 to Forest. Yeah. 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 As long as we beat Bournemouth, that's some stuff like that. They've got the trickier game today, don't you? I agree. Yeah. Blackburn. Let's hope old Brereton Diaz gives us a bit of Adrian Brereton. Help today. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. Yeah. It would help us out. Do you know Derby's gone down by the way? Really? <laughs> How long did that happen? I don't know, I'll see it on the news today. Oh. Well, thanks for the reminder. A debut for Max there, Max Show of Max. Yes, Rad, it's nice to see you, mate. You're yeah, right. I'm good, mate. Uh, I'm how are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm, I'm confident. Um, it's nice to have a, a decent forest YouTuber on and like door. <laughs> to wind him um, <laughs> Yeah, it will. Um, uh, how am I feeling today? Nervous, but then, I was just saying to your dad then actually, it's a different side, isn't it? I suppose you've got Cooper in charge who can galvanise the players. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. real leadership in the team, so I'm not worried about today. You've almost got to sit as three cup finals in a way, win all three of them, hope to better, which we will if we win, better Bournemouth's goal difference. Yeah. And you're promoted to the Premier League without the stress of the playoffs. Um, it's in our hands, isn't it? You know, yeah, that's it the best thing. In our hands, I think Scott Parker's Bournemouth's getting found out. Um, I think that's maybe a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I don't think he's ever really shown to me that, in my opinion, Cooper's it, and, 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 and this is trying not to be in a biased way, but Cooper's probably one of the best managers in the championship. Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah. Nathan Jones being one of them, because fair play to him with, 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 with a really small budget with Luton. Yep. Um, however, I just think that Bournemouth, Fulham, Parachute payments. I think a lot of neutral football fans in the Championship, in the Premier League, will not only love to see Forest come up because it's a big club, but will love to see us go up because it's not the clubs with the parachute payments that might yo-yo up and down the leagues. Yeah. And, and, and also, I, I love Cooper's mentality of. Yeah, brilliant. Of, next man up when a player's yeah. injured if it's an academy player if it's a player that you don't see often in the season next man up and he'll get them ready that's really important for a team to have and, and they always perform don't they yeah to be, able to be able to do that so today today will be difficult Swansea will probably be looking for a bit of revenge maybe against obviously Cooper former manager 2-1 um, but 3-1 maybe I might go with your dad 3-1 yeah excellent come on you Reds you Reds no, nice one mate you Reds <laughs> Right, so team news, it is thankfully unchanged as we thought there might have been a few injuries, but um, as I suspected, they're not all injured like we thought they might have been. Uh, still got Colbat, Zinc and Sewage. No changes. The only thing I really noticed is the fact we've got Dale Taylor on the bench who, if you saw my video about the Youth Academy, which go and check out if you haven't, uh, it gives you hopefully quite a good insight onto all of our youth players. I was really impressed with Dale Taylor.
Gott. Gott. Booking or goal? It was a goal. It was such a soft goal to give away. Well, that was way too easy, wasn't it? Come on, lad. How the hell was that a foul? Just one is it? Yates was literally pulled back. That was a forest free kick. Yates was pulled back. It's a free kick to Swansea. Are you joking? Honestly, that's the worst call I think I've seen all season. That's generally right up there. Oh, oh my god! How close can you get? Come on! Go on! Oh. Go on! Arguing the most frustrated part in quite some time. We've had many this season the officiating, but it wasn't just the official, it was the in general. As for Boris, we've had plenty of chances and not took them. 1 1, it was a poor goal for us to see. A very interesting goal that we scored. All around a very strange half of football, really. I think we were nervous to start with. Sturridge should have had a goal. I think nervous to get to These guys, they're goalie and they're number 26. What a bunch of time wasting South American pretending footballers they are. Going down like a sack of spuds when they just great, great basket. One one, yeah, we should be like four one up in a minute. Frustrating. New red. Go, babe. 
for you. We're coming for you. I am Steve Ballmer. Doesn't really get much better than that, does it, Dad? Five one against Swansea. Really, I don't really know what else to say. It's just, it's just yet another unreal result, uh, and. I believe Bournemouth did win, I don't know for sure, but I think they did uh, quite heavily as well against Blackburn. But you know, as Cooper will say, you know, we can only control ourselves, so just focus on that. Um, you know, we don't want to really do the players because it will be just pure stress, but I don't, I mean, I was talking to Max as you would have seen before I was actually filming, he was just saying like, you know, will we, will it kill the confidence, but I don't think it will. <clears throat> You know, I think it's not like we've had top two all season and now we're going to throw it away. I don't think it really will hit us, to be honest, and I think we will deal with it pretty well. But, yeah, uh, as for this game, the first goal was very confusing, really, wasn't it? Yeah, I would say. Very like, confusing. Jerry didn't know what was going on, whether it was a red card, whether they were just debating whether it cost the line or not. It's a tiny bit like uh, Zink and Idol's goal, wasn't it, against... Um... Fulham. Fulham. Yeah, and uh, then obviously Surridge... What honestly, one of the best signings in a long time, and yeah, well, I mean, we've had so many brilliant signs, but he's up there. Of a uh, oh, well, they're all brilliant, but the fact <clears> the point is, two million pounds in football these days is not much, and he's an absolute bargain. Mm. Every single goal he's took has been such a smart and really, really well taken goal. Um, you know, the, 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 I think the second one in particular, the second was, was sublime, it really was. Yeah, but he had, yeah, he had he uh, had quite a few chances there, didn't he? He could, you know, in that lobby attempted to go with a goalkeeper in the first half that he didn't score. Uh, two or three similar ones, but yeah, to get a hat trick against your old club, fantastic. I was really pleased to see Alex Martin finally get a chance, mm. and then he gets a goal as well. Yeah, you know, he, he really wanted it. Um, whether he's going to be with us next season or not. I don't think we're going to sell him. To be honest, I think we might loan him out, but no, I'll keep him. It probably. I mean, he needs to play, doesn't he? And he's not yeah, going to play. He, he needs the minutes, but yeah, I, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't sell him. He's an excellent player. It's sad that the, the last two games are going to be away because I, I, I can't be, you know, in the moon dip properly. But uh, you know, it's going to be huge that Bournemouth game, and then Hull just as big, really. Uh, you know, if we can get top two, it's, un <clears throat> it's undescribable how big that is. Mm. Um, in terms of vlogs, if this is the final one, of course we'll be back next season for hopefully a Premier League season, but I can't believe I'm saying that quite frankly. Uh, but yeah, you Reds. You Reds!